Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sam Vega. We're eating on the cheap. Doesn't have to kill you. Just part of my appearance. So, I got this in the mail today. <coughs> Fort Wayne Housing Authority. So, I wanted to share it with you. You learn when I learn. Okay. It says, Dear Housing Choice Voucher Program Applicant, please read this letter carefully. <laughs> this letter is to inform you that your name has reached the top of the Housing Choice Voucher Program, formerly known as Section 8, waiting list. If you are unable to attend, you will automatically be rescheduled for one additional meeting to be determined by the Housing Authority prior to the removal of the waiting list. I am scheduled for You can pause it there and read it. April 1st, April Fool's Day. <laughs> Should I trust this? Um, at 8.45, please bring the completed application packet with you to the interview. Also bring a list of items requested in the enclosed document. Both the head of household, blah, blah, blah. This group meeting may take up to three hours to complete. The meeting will begin promptly at the scheduled time. Please plan, ha, plan on. Please plan to arrive on time, as late arrival will not be admitted. So there's the letter. I'll let you read it. So what are the chances? I get a letter, I showed you the letter from my senator where they said I was like six to nine months from being able to get on the top of the list. And then five days after we get Patty moved in to her place, I'm suddenly on the top of the list. And if you go to my Facebook page, uh, Snap Vegan, I posted how much it costs to go into public housing. And it's like $1,500 or so, so I got it broken down. Now that I know how much two men in a truck cost and how much a U-Haul truck costs, uh, the deposit and all that other stuff. Well, Patty had help from her family to pay that. I've already asked my brother and my ex-husband, and I both have said no, so. Don't know how I'm supposed to do that. But anyway, I will go to the thing and items to bring to the interview. So I'll scan that and you can pause it and see. For yourself, what it takes to get into HUD housing. So now let me look at it. Birth certificate, yeah. They've got already all of this. Yeah, we had to send it to them within seven days after applying to get on the list to start with. So they already have all this. We already had to turn all this in. So I don't know why they're asking for it again. But anyway, birth certificate. Um, Social Security card. Driver's license. Naturalization, blah, blah, blah. Adoption, custody, no divorce decrees, no, no worries about that. Um, household income, some of the social security statement. Um, 
my eyes are getting blurry. Let's see. Uh, current uh, disability award letter in the last 60 days. So I gotta go to Social Security and get another one. Um, TAN food stamp, whatever. Veterans benefits. Uh, proof of real estate, no. Stocks, no. Uh, recent dated bank account, no. Well, I can print that off. You'll need the following information in order to complete the paperwork. Name and complete address of employer, food stamp provider, pension provider, address of anyone contributing to no. Um, that's it. Handicap disability expenses. Light bill. So, yay, I'm at the top of the list. Which, once I'll get into housing, like where Patty's at, I could actually breathe. I'd have money to pay all of my stuff. I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Nothing. It would be my last move, though. I wouldn't be able to. So, I mean, I should be glad. This is great. But where am I going to get $1,500 from? So this is what happens. I mean, you bust chops to get on this list and you get a break and all of this other stuff. And, you know, I've waited now what? Almost, almost three years, four years? from getting on the list to making this happen. And now that it's here, nothing I can do about it. Where do they expect you to come up with all this money when you're only making $948 a month? Or in Patty's case, $750 a month. Of course, she did have family to help her pay all of that. And then had help with the truck. I'm not going to have any of that. So, yay me. Oh, uh, something I want to talk about. <laughs> Somebody made a comment on my last video about when I asked for $17 in gas. Oh, we, we got the gas. We got the gas for the truck. Nobody helped with the gas for the truck. But between me and Patty, we got the gas for the truck. I just couldn't pick my medicine up for the month. I mean, you know, those are the choices. Medicine or put gas in the truck or, you know. So we chose to put gas in the truck and turn it in. <coughs> so, you know, that, that was done. And somebody made a comment that I ask for money a lot. And somebody else liked her comment. So I just want to say this. You know, I've got family, uh, you know, my son or, you know, his dad or maybe my sister-in-law. I know my brother doesn't because he don't give a shit about me. But, uh, you know, and... I got family in North Carolina. Uh, I haven't seen in, you know, 50 years. But they, they, they watch this channel. So on the offset, one of them could help me out. I ask. Nobody's, I don't expect anything. But, you know, there are a lot of nice people that subscribe to my channel. And they have helped me out. Uh, and I have thanked them all for their kindness and generosity. And I don't take it for granted because, you know, it's always a surprise when it happens. So, um, and, and there's something else too. There's people that watch my channel 
that knew me way back in the day that if I collectively added up all of the money that I would given there loaned them paid for them paid their rent from you know with or their utility bill or made a car payment for them or their insurance pay it for them I could add all of that up and it would be about eighty thousand dollars in my lifetime eighty thousand dollars out of my pocket throughout my life I'm 61 that I have helped other people other people and friends so I uh, of course I, I didn't give with the expectation of getting anything back but I'm just saying I know some of them are watching and in the event they can now help me out I'm letting them know now's a good time and um, so I'm not going to sit here and say I got people that owe me because they don't owe me because I don't give to anybody unless I want them to have it or if I'm trying to help. Just saying, now that they're in a better place <laughs> and the tables have turned on me, maybe they might consider helping me out this time for all the times I paid their rent, made their car payment, paid their insurance, bought their food, bought clothes for their kids, whatever. That's all. So if it bothers you that my channel is about the real life struggle of like making lots of money, getting hit in the hit by a train, and then now you're having to navigate through places you've never been before. <laughs> and you don't like me trying to tell you exactly how it is and how it goes and and then you're trying to trying to improve your health so you can get back to work. Well, if that bothers you, leave the channel. Just leave. <laughs> Just leave. And somebody else asked me, um, what's wrong with you that you can't work? Well, I've already had that conversation. So go back to the very beginning. And start watching the videos and even the times when I'm cooking I'll have a little conversation in between there I'll, I'll give you a little bit of nuggets on my life all throughout all the cooking videos and chatting with Kathy's and all this other kind of stuff it's all in there but you'll also see where I've had corrective surgery to fix one thing and then another correct corrective surgery to correct something else and another corrective surgery <laughs> to correct something else. And then, let's see, was it, has it been three so far? No, four. Okay, four. So far, in what, a year and a half I've had this channel? So it ain't like I'm sitting here not trying to do nothing about it. I'm trying to improve my health so I can get back to work. So, um... You know, there's bumps in the road. I, you know, I officially now have lymphedema. So that's why I'm so round and beautiful and fighting this water battle and everything else, I guess. I still think it came from this shoulder. I don't know why. I just think just, I was doing okay. Had that shoulder surgery and I started cheating and swelling and I don't know what. We're going to work through that now. Weather's getting better. Going to get out more. But, um, so yeah. So, you know, now this is here. And I think they give you up to two extensions. You got 60 days to find a place and move in. You can ask for an extension, but then you got to give them a list of the places you've been and tried to get into or what have you. And then they'll say, okay, well, we'll give you another extension. The good thing about this is that I don't have to move in the dead of winter now in November, December, which is great. Um, because, man, that's really hard. Um, I did that when I was healthy when I moved in here, uh, and that was really hard. It took me a month of playing, paying rent at this place and paying rent at that place and doing 
car trips back and forth, moving stuff in and getting it put away. It took me a month of double rent to, to make that happen because I didn't have a truck then. I had one of my neighbor, the maintenance people, come and help me with that um, on the final day. Praise God for them. But, you know, now I'm going to need I'm going to need a 10-foot truck to get my small stuff out of here. And then I'm going to need two men in the truck to get the big stuff. So, there's nobody to help. Nobody. Nobody else. So, but, you know, if uh, I, I'm, I've got to i got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I don't know how I'm going to... i got nothing left to sell, people. I, you be, I got nothing left to sell. Nothing. I'm so sick and tired of every time I have to make an adjustment. I have to sell, give away, or throw out a piece of my life. I'm tired of being punished for something that's not my fault. And, but anyway, that came today. Fort Wayne Housing Authority. And lucky me, I'm at the top of the list. So I could actually go live, you know, across the hall, down the hall from Patty. <laughs> Maybe on the other side of the building, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> But, come here, Austin. Say hi to the people. Come on. Come. Come say hi. Come on. Wait a minute. Get your toy. Come on. One, two, three. Come on. Up. Come on, Austin. I can't believe he won't walk up up here. Austin, come. Here he comes. He's got a soccer ball. Say hi. Oh, it fell down. Hi, everybody. This is my pooch pooch. And I love him very much. Raw. Rubber dog. <laughs> He's so flexible, I tell you. I don't know how he does it. Rah, 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 rah. Get that soccer ball. <clears throat> but anyway. So I hope you're happy for me that I'm on the top of the list. And I'm sorry I'm having to recline. I'm just exhausted. All that moving back and forth with Patty just kind of made everything a little sore. I'm still working the kinks out. But I got a pair of jeans on today that I couldn't wear last weekend even. So that's good. So progress. Anyhow, that's it for me today. Please be happy for me. And, uh, you know, anybody that wants to help me out has the PayPal link below. If I was to do a GoFundMe, GoFundMe would charge me and PayPal would charge me. So why not just, like, let y'all know and, I don't know, let those people, other people know I was talking about. <laughs> anybody that wants to help out, I mean, that would be great. Because I've got to pay at least half of that at one time with a money order. I can't. I would say, well, I won't pay my electric bill. I won't pay my life insurance, car insurance, renter's insurance. What else? Um, rent for one month. And then by the fifth, I'm in court for eviction. Why would I want to do that when I'm trying to look at a new place and I need to get an application in? And I've got like, you know, all of my life really. I've got, you know, just in this location, I've got 14 years. Good, good rental history. Why would I want to screw that up and not pay my rent just to do the, you know what I mean? I, I can't screw things up to try to finagle, you know, my way around this obstacle, so... Pray for me, and I'll I'll put the details down below how much it costs to move in HUD housing for me. Depending on what you're paying in rent right now, it's gonna vary. Yeah, mine's six thirteen, um, and 
some places charge a $25 application fee. The place Patty's at charge $35 application fee. Some other people might have, you know, 200 deposit or 250 deposit. Their deposit's 350. And so, um, you know, <sighs> if, I could, uh, if I could finagle this and go ahead and get in there, that would be awesome. But if I can't, my rent's going up twenty more dollars in October, which will make it six thirty-three, and then it's just going to go up twenty dollars every year, and then in what five six years I won't be able to do anything I don't so it's like my dad used to say now or never leap of faith blah 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 well a leap of faith easy for him to say <laughs> he had the money to make it happen <laughs> you know what I mean let me turn this light down ah there but, so, that's all I want to say. <laughs> Yay me. Okay, so I've got CSFP next week. Got back on that list. So I'll go pick that stuff up uh, Monday, I guess. And so, I've got until April 1st. Well, let's just call it April 1st. Well, our first. My meeting's the first. That's when they give you the voucher. So I've got from now to April the 1st and then 60 days to get in a place. With one extension or two. We'll see. But let's just call it for May. Let's just call it June 1st. I got till June 1st. Well, I actually got until. Uh, April 30th to come up with $1,500 because I got to pay all that the month before, you know, the deposit and everything the month before. And then the other, you'll see, it's down below. So I'll uh, get this posted up and sorry for my appearance. But I will be doing a CSFP um, video next week. It's, uh, yep, we'll talk about CSFP. We got new CSFP. FP products coming on down the bike, more plant based, and I am loving that. So, um, we'll see you next time. Maybe I'll do a live chat later on. Talk to you later.